stuck. Supposed to be doing DVD tonight. What a balls up. Lars didn't probably be expecting Mick Fleetwood. What up there? <laughs> 15 nights in this place. Look at the bloody size of it. Look at it's huge. Let's have a look at you. Let me borrow that camera. Let's see who we've got in tonight. Give it here. Here we go. Come on. He loves it now, oh, look at him! Oh my god, he's been upstaged! Who's that? You can be a mum, you can be a mum. Hello, you alright? Who calls me that? Can Bill Oddie's in? There you go. Alright, Bill. What else? Hey, old. What's happened to you? No seats. You can't sit there, you're a fire hazard, sir. Don't crouch down, there's 14,000 people looking at you. What's point to that? It was a wave. Oh, we've been a bit of a domestic when we're not there, we? <laughs> what about over here? Who we got now? Oh! He loves it, that fella. Look at him. He's out of his mind. Look at them teeth, mother of God. Sugar. By the way, this is a show. I'll do two hours of this, then I go off. In case you're wondering. <laughs> Good evening, you beauties there. Look at you. That's my bread and butter. I'm loving that, that checkered top there. That's a belt of that. There you go. That's the old cocoon area. There's your team, Colonel. <laughs> there, there's my lovely crew back there. Where are they? It was a wave. Oh, look at that. It's that last supper, that shot there, with a bit middle. What's that? Hello, love. You seem happy. You seem very happy. Oh, wait, up then again. Oh, wait, up. Go and have a word with her in front there. She's having your limelight. What's she doing? Where's your co worker? You're not leaving on your own. What are you doing there, then? Look at that lady there. She's planting a bit of grass, aren't she? That one. Hey, hey, with him. With him. Hey. And her. Hey, they're all swingers there in that hat there. They're in Dublin. They're not built though. They're not a bit together. Angelina Jolie without the makeup. Hey, hey. Cheers to you, Angelina. <laughs> and that's my fantastic audience for the last night tonight. <laughs> Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, for 20 minutes of comedy dragged over a two hour show. <laughs> Here we go. Special, special. Oh, yes. Good to be back on nights. <laughs> Hello. Got to start with a bit of sad news, though. Mate of mine has just been sacked off Dodgems, but he's doing them for fun for dismissal. <laughs> I ordered a pizza last night. I asked for a thin and crusty supreme. They sent me down a Ross. <laughs> you say that, Dave? Hey, can I say that? What do you call a Welsh man with a stick up his ass? Is this on? Here, there. What do you call a Welsh man with a stick up his ass? A taffy apple. <laughs> Tell the kids tomorrow. I love that. <laughs> what a Mexican spot underneath the carpets. Andale! Thank you, sister! Thank you, Bill, as all this shit then you did. Kerry Jokey. And you did the accent. Where's your sombrero? <laughs> Wife says to her husband, you never take me anywhere expensive anymore. He said, get your coat on. She said, why, where are we going? Fucking petrol station. <laughs> Sorry, cocoon. Sorry for the effing. <laughs> he's blue. Sit down, he's blue. He's effing and effing. He's still there. <laughs> Woman went at doctor's, she had a piece of lettuce sticking out the top of her knickers. <laughs> True story, love. True story. Doctor said, that looks nasty. She said, tip of iceberg. <laughs> Tsunami of filth. Fella says to his wife, why don't you tell me when you orgasm? She said, I don't like ringing you at work. <laughs> right, we'll have a short interval and I'll see you in a bit. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm joking. Thanks for coming tonight. Always helps having an audience. Thanks for buying a ticket tonight. Technically, you are my employers tonight. What do you think about that? There you go. Yeah. Judging by that prick, I wish I'd thrown a sickie. Yeah. <laughs> I can't throw a sickie in this game. It's not when you're self-employed. It's not like when I went to cash and carry, I can't get Rakeem, my fruit and veg, come and tell some jokes for 20 minutes. <laughs> Those days ago, and people don't even fall in sick anymore. Well, they're texting sick now. What's all that about texting in work sick? Up all night, coming out of both ends, send. That's it. Job done, piss of piss. Gone of the days of your sick voice. No one does a bloody sick voice anymore. 
That used to be a skill, that, doing your sick voice. You used to have to get psyched up and bend over it all, holding onto the wall, squint your eyes. <laughs> don't get out, don't, don't you make me laugh, don't, don't. <laughs> don't, don't, you don't know, work stick, don't. Stare at the, don't make me laugh. Don't, don't. You had to ring up at six o'clock in the morning and tell cleaner, tell manager you weren't coming in. <laughs> I'm looking at people with you, the manager clean. I'm a big to care. No, it don't sound like it does, I'm really, truly. Well, I said yesterday, I didn't feel well. That's what you do the day before, plant the seed. The day before. <laughs> Not today, is it me? I don't think I'll be in tomorrow. <laughs> no, I think it's one of them 24-hour things. <laughs> say it's not out, that's all you want. Don't be saying anything more than that. Don't be saying you've had a stroke or something like that, Christ. You've got to follow it up for weeks, then. Go on, man, what? Can I have a half-day, bro? Come on. Can I have a half-day, bro? You got a pen? You got a pen? Well, say this, bro. I'll write a day off. If you want a week off, tell them a member of your family's died. That's always a bell to that. If you want, oh, obviously, obviously one you don't like. I'm not bloody sick. My uncle Nobbed, he died three times when I worked at Neto. He were always dying that fella. Then he come in, did his big shop. I got a written warning, dickhead. If you feel better, will you be in after dinner? Oh, uh, I don't know. Can I ring you back? Don't say that, don't say that. You want to enjoy your morning off? Now you've got to go through the same rigmarole again after loose women. Don't say that. And if you do your sick voice too much, then you actually start feeling bloody sick for real. Next thing you're on couch with a duvet and a bowl of chicken soup. Psychological hypochondria. That's what that is. A lot of blokes suffer from that. Me included. Blokes are murder for p Blokes are never ill. They're always dying. They can't just be ill. It's like, oh my God. I, swear, I had something in my eye. Well, you'd have thought I'm in early stages of glaucoma. Where we're carrying on. I've got a cataract. I've got a cataract in my eye. Go let them go on the internet and Google it. I, I put it in. Scroll down. I saw the word tumour. Oh my God, that ray. Kiss the kids, Bobby, because I am not going to see them all. You can feel it when I blink. It's like a grave. <laughs> oh, just an hour, just an hour. <laughs> so you go into the toilet, middle at night, walk into the toilet. Oh. <laughs> Tripped up. Well, you'd have thought I was Christopher Reeve where we're carrying on. <laughs> I can't feel anything from my neck down. Help me. I can't feel my legs. My wife's like, get up. You don't want to fall over at all. Her shoes. Pissing shoes. What is it about women in shoes? Put them in wardrobe. What's the matter? She's like, Purdy from New Avengers when she comes in giving it eye kicks. Bang, that's it. <laughs> Break your neck. That's what you want, heel of a stiletto embedded in its sole of your foot at three o'clock in the morning. It's like a round from Total Wipeout trying to have a slashing arrow, isn't it? <laughs> King Duplo, wire coat hanger. I stood in a wire coat hanger, and that end hook bit went right up under my big toenail. Honest to God, who's that a panto? What's crack was this? Oh, oh. What, what's with sympathetic, painful faces? What are you doing now? What's this? Oh. Oh, that is your face, love. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there I go. <laughs> I, I drew blood. I had a tetanus. Tetanus. I've not had a tetanus since I was in fifth year and I played Jesus and Kevin Crompton banked nails in too deep. <laughs> oh, I blacked out. I blacked out, so I crossed. <laughs> give me a fireman's lift, get me down, nuts. And I don't like needles as I've got older. That's why I've stopped shooting up. I don't like needles. <laughs> I won't go dentist because I won't have an injection. I lost a filling at Christmas. I lost a Quality Street Toffee Penny. Be warned. Be warned. Laugh. I'm suing him. I'll tell you that. And I'm suing um, Ebon S. Blue Arbor for getting me into jogging bottoms. <laughs> Giving me a false sense of security. <laughs> so I lost a filling, but I won't go dentist because I don't like needles. Anyway, left it and left it. It turned into a bloody abscess. Agony. It all came to an end when I sucked on a slush puppy at Thomas Land. <laughs> to drink, love. And I will go home. I went, oh, I've got to get home, I've got to get home. I'm in a people carrier with four under five year olds listening to it Wiggles. And I thought, I've got to get back home. So I piled the door in the car. I got on M6, Toll Road, back to Bolton. I had my money ready, 450, used to be 380, Robin Bastard. <laughs> I went to the automated one, pulled up, I'll get in with my tooth, open the window. Hey, oh, it's electric. Those days are gone. Hey, none of that anymore. Electric. <laughs> Opened my window, got me 450, threw it into the bucket, missed. How can you miss? It's <laughs> 3.50 went in, pound coin went straight on the people carrier. I'm like, Christ, I've got to get out now. I can't tell a member of staff because there's no bugger there. I've got that much room, open my door, it's banging. I can't go forward, there's a barrier. I'm trying to get out and slide down. Onto, and I don't know if you've noticed, I'm big boned. So I'm trying to get down onto my knees. There's a car behind me, beeping, waiting, patient prick. I'm on the floor here, listening to Hot Potato or the Wiggles. I can see pound coin, it's right on the centre of people carrier, laughing at me. I end up, I'm on my knees, on the floor is wet, it's that fine rain, soaks you through. And I'm lying on the tarmac, on my abscess cheek. 
bleaching for this pen kind. A black toe. Black toe. I walk up in a 24 hour emergency dentist in Tamworth. And he was cross eyed. He was cross eyed, this dentist. Swear to God. I don't mean cross eyed like that. You know, when your eyes meet in the middle. He, he looked past me. You know, sometimes you get them people and they're slightly boss eyed. They look past you when they're talking. Awful, because when he when I woke up, he went, Mr. K, I'm giving it proper subtle line. <laughs> Awful, because when he was trying to drill, I thought he was going to go through my cheek. Because he's looking off the wall. I'm starting to chill. Huh? X-ray. Have you ever had an X-ray dentist? You've got to bite on this bit of plastic and then put your head in a vice and then him and the assistant leg it out of the room and leave you. I'm like, where are you going? Come back. No, no, Mr. K, you stay there. Radiation. I'm like, Grace, we're out with Chernobyl. What's going on here? I've got an abscess. Look at nose coming out in clumps. What's going on? Terry Nockins. Grace, stop, mate. Put these goggles on for flying debris or whatever. He's putting up a kitchen extension. Then he injects me. You feel a bit of a sting, more of a stab than a sting, lying prick. <laughs> and he went in, and his assistant started sucking. She said, Grow up. <laughs> and then he go private. She <laughs> went in. And he starts drilling away. And then, you know, they take it out and you have a quick check with your tongue for see how he's doing. But your problem is your tongue magnifies the hole. I'm like, oh my god, how big's this hole he's drilling here? Well they got an access, it's one of a shopping centre in my mouth, look at this. It's two blocks on the edge of my tooth and I that's giving it back here, but that's good, back here, don't it? <laughs> And he starts using my chest as a workbench. Honest to God, I'm like that, the hell? Scalpel, hammer, brew, what are you doing? Get a big cup ring on my shirt, get a coaster, get a coaster. You dragged up, get a coaster. Then after half an hour of absolute bliss, I had a rinse. <laughs> We're all numb, aren't you? can't feel it. Oh, shit. Thanks, thanks. Thanks very much, thanks. Proper in barrels, like. You want any more problems with that tooth, Mr. K? Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks, yeah. Stagger out to reception. Are you free in six months on a Tuesday at quarter past four? <laughs> oh, where I am, all right. I, don't, I can't see colours. I don't know where I am. <laughs> well, speak. That's £343. I heard that, I heard that. <laughs> what is? Did you wear a mask and a striped jumper? What's the matter with you? <laughs> you take my swole. Pardon? You take my swole. <laughs> Who? My, my swole. You take my swole. My what? I can't hear. My throat. Sweet, sweet, is it? Sweet. Sweet cars. Sweet, oh, sweet. I said sweet for five minutes, is it? Sweet. Spit all over your counter, is it? Sweet. It's quiet now, it's quiet. Sweet. And they give you that machine, put your card in. They do it in restaurants, then they turn away like it's a big secret. Put your card in. Give them big mirror on ceiling, like. <laughs> my nan just says it, my nan. She's got pin number to rex. She's saying, we do it, big shot. Six, one, four, three. <laughs> Smackheads are on it, don't <laughs> And I go and see dental hygienists as well when I was there. I don't like seeing them. They just bollock you for not brushing your teeth to make you feel like shame again. It's awful. <laughs> you lie to it. I promise they'll fluff. I promise they'll fluff. I go chemist now and get some fluff and I, and I whistle lolly. I they always sell them at chemists, whistle lollies. I get a whistle lolly. Next time you see me, I'll be like Donny Osmond. <laughs> Next time you see me. <laughs> 85 pounds for a scale and polish. 85 pounds get sprayed in my own blood. I come out looking like Carrie. Come on. <laughs> People want that now, people are much more image conscious and hygienic, puts me to shame me. I used to have a bath me when I was growing up.